ghost haunts this dwelling. I can feel her. A touch moving down my arm as I begin to see visions of her beauty. I'm desperately asking, who is she? Because to me, I shouldn't be experiencing this out-of-body phenomenon of wonder and fear intertwined. Yet here I am, gazing into an empty room with nothing that adorns the walls. A familiar feeling of what used to be like a fleeting dream with memories of the edge of making out the shapes. Her smell is so familiar. Have we met before? I don't know who she is or if she has ever existed, but I don't want to miss this because from this distance, I might make it to the end or be gone myself. I can hear the turning of pages above me and the smell of ink fills the air. Something is scratching the surface. A new world appears on the horizon that was not here before. And there, there she is. The ink that covers her body begins to throw itself off, starting from her head to the heels of her olive feet. A new life fills her spirit and I can feel it. Letters carried by the wind begin to form words around her. Victoria. The letters spell Victoria. For the next what feels like days, I watch Victoria. New words form to describe her, but they can't seem to accurately describe the beauty I see before me. I feel like a stranger watching from the outside. I take a step forward, but can't seem to move. I hear a voice in the distance. Your story ended, it says. You don't move any further. You hurt her. You aren't around in any other chapter. I'm sorry. I hurt her. How could I hurt someone I have just seen, but yet she is somehow familiar? Did I love her once? The world turns dark. My memories begin to fade as the world around me crumbles down. I am being erased. I take one last glance in her direction. She looks so happy. I am filled with peace. I will never forget you. You will always be my... You will always be my, you are, I can't remember her name.